It's the Ashland crew, and I've got a friendly face for you. It's my own face. For those of you that <laughs> might not recognize me, uh, this is Phil from Ashland Leather. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I thought it would be worthwhile to show you some of the private sock stuff that we just dropped. Normally, I'll do a preview video for all these special wallets, but I've been a little a little bit behind schedule and in the next week you will see why i've been a little bit tight on time because we've got some new stuff coming but let's start off with the new stuff for today i give you the clickbait banner image here of a extremely rare shell cordovan color and hopefully i'll be able to flip this camera around so i could show you yo mojo from arizona good to see you all right here's the clickbait color check out how sweet this is and i think this might be the most rare shell cordovan color that is not like a one-off kind of accident and i'll try to explain why in just a moment here but you will notice on the table i've got a smattering of treats <laughs> that i'm uh i'm really excited about and then you know, if you look even farther over towards where my desk is i've got the rest of the private stock stuff just chilling out over there. What we do every month, the goal is to get a batch of special things that we don't normally offer onto our offerings once a month. And we've been able to do it the last few months. Today is a hundred new items that feature this rare shell color, as well as a bunch of other stuff. But the things that I was trying to focus on were Horween's shrunken bison leather, which you can see one of them here as well as this rare color. And I wanted to point out this crazy stamp. So people that have been hanging out for a bit, um, been buying stuff from us, or even just watching the YouTube channel, probably saw this X stamp three years ago. And this was from a batch of wallets that we offered as a 10 year anniversary event. And now this year is our 13th of anniversary. So heads up, uh, people that are really keyed in. This year we will be doing a brand new batch for our 13th anniversary with new custom art. And once they are gone, they are gone. But I wanted to give you the story here of why there is still a couple wallets here with this 10 year anniversary logo. Long story short was we came across some cut parts of leather that were never actually sewn into the wallets. And I don't really know how that happened. But we did have a couple of them sort of just hanging out. And there's also, a there's one more. Now this one, the full transparency, this one was actually returned. Somebody held onto this wallet for three years, never used it uh, and wanted a refund and uh, give him his money back. So I do have like a couple of those 10 year anniversary wallets that were I don't know, showed up three years too late, which <laughs> is super funny. Uh, any vertical bugs, Marin, natural shell? Uh, we can make that for you, Mo. Just send us a, uh, just send us an email. It's info at ashlandleather.com. We can have that made to order. Don Fielding's here, Miguel's here. What's up, guys? Let me answer your questions after I explain a little bit more about this. I wanted to explain what this color is. You saw it on the thumbnail image for the video. This is a color from Horween Leather that is called Old Bronze shell Corvin. And I spoke with the source yesterday, Skip Horween, to try to get the full story of whether or not this is the most rare color. And Skip wouldn't let me go even that far. Basically, they don't offer this color, but when they feel like doing it and customer, they, their bigger customers are asking for it, they will do it. So it's like not really a color you can just get, and honestly, I don't even know how I have some of it, but obviously I got this three years ago. The interesting thing about the old bronze is you can see it now. It's like absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like, to, to my brain, it's kind of like a combination of cigar and whiskey shell Corbin, where it has some of these brownish green overtones and then more of like these yellow golden undertones. It's very, very beautiful. You may have seen this color of Cordovan appear in other places, for example, Alden or Viberg, I believe have made some footwear out of these. And when this leather is fresh, it's super green. It's almost closer to like this green here, which is wild. And I think this is one of the reasons that they don't make that color anymore because as it starts off, it starts off much different 
than it is appearing now. And it doesn't appear that that is something that the tannery is able to control color wise, but it is really, really beautiful. And you can see even as, as I just show you the different angles of the leather here, just how dramatic the, the color shifting is on that. And I was really excited to show that to you. I had to actually make an extra effort to put on the camera right now just to show you this right there and how special this is. And on top of that, it's a 100% Cordovan John the Fox, which are tough for us to get. We had this one and this one, but this one is made with a different exterior color. We made this with the cigar shell on the outside. So those are pretty special, something that I don't think we can get again, but definitely uh, worth me explaining and showing to you guys. We had a couple shell Cordovan baseballs. What do I want to get to next? Oh, let's talk about this bison. Now this material here, we buy it in a couple different colors. I think the tannery is starting to expand their offerings in the shrunken bison leather. And we have the blue as well as bourbon bison. And I, I really, really, really like this naturally shrunken texture. And I'll try to back it up a little bit. The story with this leather is you can get a similar bison appearance with a printed plate and they can press that texture into the skin. This is a naturally shrunken version of that texture. So each piece is a little bit different, although we tried to keep them pretty similar for this private stock event. And it's beautiful. The thing that is very special about this particular bison is that it is naturally shrunken, but it's also vegetable tanned and hand tipped. So when I say hand tipped, if you look down the spine of the wallet here, you can see there's two different colors that are sort of happening at the same time. There's peaks to the texture and valleys to the texture. The peaks of the texture are much darker, uh, more like a navy blue. And then the valleys of the texture are, are much lighter, more of like an electric blue. And the combination of them together is, is really, really magical. So this is a leather tannish that Horween calls Yellowstone. I find that name to be problematic to market because it's very, very confusing. I'm starting to just call this American Bison and we have it in the two colors. We're hoping to get some more of that in the future. I thought these two, <laughs> these two turned out really, really cool. So we have a blue Yellowstone American Bison with a yellow stitching and then yellow horse hide on the interior. And the other one is sort of the same idea, but with English tan, on the inside and this sort of orange stitching, which is beautiful. I have another, we made a, a couple different versions because we weren't sure what would look cool to pair with the shrunken bison. But this one is made with English tan and bourbon. And then we've got a couple other wallets that we started to do with the bison. So this is a wallet called the Tall Tony the Ants. You can see the bill slot on the back here goes all the way to the top, which is different than our normal Tony the Ant that you can see here with a thumb notch. So people that were having a little bit taller uh, paper currency wanted that bill slot extended all the way up to the top because they wanted to fully conceal some of those taller euros or yens that are a little bit taller than the uh, US dollars that we designed it for. That's how the tall Tony the Ant came about. And I think people, sort of as a happy accident, people like the aesthetic of the uh, full bill slot on the outside. And then this one is full bourbon bison. Very, very beautiful. I love how this one turned out too. I think we made like two of those. Let me show you the regular Tony the Ant. I, I pulled out things that I thought had a little bit of a story and that were very atypical, sort of my favorites from the private stock drop today. Here's one of them. This is not something that I really see. On the outside of this Tony is reverse color eight Cordovan. So this is not the shell side sitting on top of normal color eight cordovan, which is the shell side on the top there. This piece of reverse is very strange because I don't normally see them this flat in color. It's a pretty unique piece of reverse color eight there. And I think it's really cool as you wear the reverse cordovan, including this color here, it will get darker, but it will also start to get a little bit more bright and shiny just with normal use. And it's really special. On the inside, this is also crazy. This is the inverted violet shell cordovan for those top two card slots. Cool Tony there. Let me show you the baseballs. We tried, I think we were doing, we were trying a little too hard on the baseballs before to make them like super crazy. So we tried to offer some more standard type baseballs that we thought might be um, more of the hits, <laughs> the, excuse the pun, 
uh, for the for the shell baseball. So this one is natural shell quarter bean. It's beautiful. Here's one in a really f special finish. This is the skip finish shell quarter bean with some reverse quarter bean. And then the last one here is inverted. I believe this is inverted black quarter bean, but kind of has this like green splatter. This is all on the shell side. Speaking of this, imagine if this were to happen on the reverse quarter bean, and that's what that fat herbie is here. So let me show you this guy. This. I think this might be one of the stunners that um, I'm getting a lot of people message me about. This is our Fat Herbie design, my favorite wallet design. This is Epic Splatter Reverse Black Shell Cordovan, and I know it looks green, but this is what the splatter looks like on the black stains that Horween uses. Actually, this might be reverse. Eh. Yeah, see the black in the center there? All the black dyes that they use are tinted with a little bit of green. So it's very confusing, but uh, this green appearance was intended to be black on the shell side. These are all just unintended splatter that happened on the reverse side of the leather. We paired that with the electric yellow stitching, which is really cool, almost like a neon. And then the same thing on the inside. It seems like people really like the gold foil stamps. That's one of the things I've been getting a lot of comments on and it makes me want to try some different color foils for our stamps. Here's another leather that we haven't done in a long time and I think we've just kind of been hanging on to it for a bit. This is a natural veg tan leather that Horween calls Stockyard and it's super light in color. In fact, I think it's changing the exposure on the camera here because it's so light. So we made a Herbie, I think we made a Bugs, which is here. And then we may have made a Tony as well, uh, which also turned out great. Here's another natural color leather, but it's different than the natural Stockyard. This is natural Chrome Excel. This was the one from three years ago where we did our 10th anniversary event. This is a variation on the Chrome Excel called Tumbled. And there's something about the tumbling action, other than changing the texture, of course, that sort of gives it that weird quilted texture. It changes the color a bit. So natural Chrome Excel is usually a little, usually a little bit darker than you see here. But because it's been tumbled, we see more of the pull-up color, uh, which I think is really special. I, I kind of want. I think we have some more natural hanging out. Oh, here's. The, I think this is the Bella Ball. Check out how crazy. This Joe Batters is, and I'll explain the design first. It's kind of like our Capone money clip, except if, except, except having, gosh, I'll start over. It's like the Capone, but with no hardware, right? We just have a bill slot instead of the clip, and then we don't stitch it all the way to the top, which allows you to get that cash in and out a little bit easier. This one was a fun creation from Lupe on our team, who has been really pushing the boundaries on things that we've seen. And I just love the orange blue combination here. It also has that candy cane stitching, which I think is really cool. Blue gator shell cordovan. And this is actually orange latigo on top and on the inside center. That one's really well composed. Uh, here's another, there's a couple interesting bugs. I think I have, uh, I do have them both here. So check this out. This is reverse color eight on the outside with a hand stained edge. And that alone right there looks really magical to me. There's something about the hand stained edge with the reverse that I think looks really cool. And of course we wax and burnish it so it gets really nicely polished. But the inside is all color H shell. So that flush interior with the reverse exterior, it's, I think that's really neat. And we did the same thing here on a vertical bugs, but this is with the black cordovan. If you look at the center of the wallet there, it's black. If you flip that leather upside down, the reverse side of the black shell is this green. And then we try to cut the ink stamps uh, where appropriate or where we can we try to cut them into visible spots super cool i see i'm trying to not read the comments because i want to get through all these but i see somebody asking about stockyard it does darken but very very slowly it's a slow burn for the patina on the stockyard this is a total stunner also and i noticed i sucked at capturing the color in the photos this is tumbled verdigris shell cordovan on a lexington key case it only has one post for keys, but the leather itself is so cool. It's like this really interesting, like gray, pale green. And then the peaks of those textures are a little bit more brown. And I think that that plays really well together. Let me show you some more Lupe creations. This is a like a chain stitch. I'm not sure what the technical stitch name is for this, but this is hand stitched by Lupe. And I think that effect of sort of braiding the stitches together Looks really, really neat. Turned out great. Lupe did a great job. Here's another hand-stitched key fob loop. These are also marbled green shell cordovan. This one is paired to match some of the lighter tones of the that tan. So it's got the orange stitching, if I can get it to focus. There you go. Beautiful. 
a little hand stained edge. Everything's turned out great. The team is just killing it right now, by the way. I don't know. I feel like I should be giving them a round of applause like every time I pull out one of these. And there's a hundred awesome, thing, awesome things to look at. Here's a vertical bugs. And the reason I wanted to show you this one is because this was a trial finish that Skip Horween was working on. Let me see if I can show you it. It's sort of like streaky finish. So in theory, this should be called skip finish, but it looks so different than all the other skip finishes that I didn't want to name it that. It's sort of like a streaked effect and kind of like a cigar color, but it's like a combination between cigar and color four. And then this one here, we used to do a lot more of this and I, I think this is my favorite piece of all of the hundred wallets. We should do this more often. This is called our method called hand glazing. Now this is the reverse side of the shell cordovan for all the pattern pieces. What we do is we apply a little bit of a special finish to the reverse side of the leather and then glaze it in and fill in all those fibers and you get this crazy wet appearance, but it also has like a, a nicer depth of color from what we normally see in the cordovan. Maybe I can demonstrate with this guy. So this is Epic Splatter Reverse Color 8. You can see what the hand glazing does. It really adds to that luster and then the color sort of just gets a little bit more lively. I love it. This is kind of like expediting the patina process for you is what the hand glazing does. Totally beautiful. I think this is my favorite piece of the, of the batch and uh, more hand glaze on the inside with color eight for those middle slots. Super cool. Uh, show you the Epic Splatter on this Passport Field Notes holder. It's really, really wild on the inside too. Here's another one, another Passport Field Notes holder in the Epic Natural Shell Cordovan, which is very neat as well. This is like a heavy, pretty heavy piece. Here's another, um, sorry, my fingers like getting when, when they, in the way of the lens. This one's like a total stunner also. So this is the passion purple color on a leather called vintage dover and this is a tough leather for us to sell because you can see how the texture and color are sort of broken up where you get darker purple with lighter purple next to it that's because this leather was tumbled at the tannery and as a side effect of tumbling it you sometimes get these little scuffs in the leather you see that one there and there's a couple back here too that's not avoidable. It, it's, it kind of feels like an irregular, but it's not. That's just how this leather appears. And it, it can probably be a little bit frustrating. It, it, it's certainly difficult to sell it um, as a, a leather wallet maker guy, but that's how this leather looks. It kind of makes me not want to buy it again, just because I worry that people aren't going to understand that that's, that's what happens when you tumble the skin. Either way, there's something amazing about how this natural shell pairs with that passion purple and then the stained edges on it, as well as the natural shell on the inside. That wallet really, really works for me. I know that not everybody wants sort of like a purple wallet, but I thought that turned out really great. This small zip, we made two of these and I think they're already gone. But this is worth spending a moment on because the leathers on this small zip, both of them we have never done before. The leather on the outside is a leather tannage called Latigo, and it's the color black. But the cross section and backside of this Latigo are actually mill dyed red. So you can see all the edges are a red color and the tannery colored the whole skin red and then stained black over the top. So as this leather is worn and scuffed and scratched, you will see the red start to appear as the undertones and that's really special. So that material is called Visage Latigo. And then on the inside, these are like true calf skins with a box board texture on them and the color's purple. I don't think Horween's going to make these true calf skins again. So this is like a really, really special leather that we have been sitting on for maybe 10 years. Uh, so the couple people that picked up these small zips, I didn't even explain that in the product page, but what you're getting is, is really, really special. Uh, another thing here that's worth noting is an Apple watch band. This is made an extra thick belt weight Chrome Excel. It's the same exact thickness that we use for all of our online belts. So if you want a really chunky um, Apple watch band, we have this one available. I, I don't know if that's sold yet, but we can also make more if you like that one. Here's the tone of the ant. And I think this is color eight, uh, maybe cigar with like this cool splatter on the inside they wanted to show you. Here's a really wild marbled cigar, Tony the Ant. 
that's almost like not cigar at all. They like really pulled off all the brown. Definitely worth showing. And then the last one I guess I'll, I'll point out is this Tony the Ant. That is green shell cordovan on top of green shell cordovan with a lizard texture. And then we have the green on the inside. I think we had a couple other green cordovan wallets. Maybe there were bugs uh, that were in this drop. But I know a lot of people are looking for green shells. So I really wanted to point that one out. I'm going to flip it back around and answer questions. Hello. Uh, where can you see me the best? All right, I'll stand in front of the bathroom. Um, hey, if you guys have questions, hit me up. I would love to answer them. And hopefully you enjoyed uh, looking at all of these crazy pieces of leather and wallets with me. The, this was a great drop. And again, we're trying to do this every month. <sighs> so it's, it's been like a pretty uh, significant sprint to get these put out even today. But I'm so glad that we made it happen. And it seems like a lot of people have picked them up already. Uh, what's up, Miguel and Don Fielding? Uh, Todd Ledford, what's up, man? You say, is there such a thing as marbled color four? Is it available? Any tumbled color four? Man, we did some, we, I guess, is not the right word. Harween sold us some uh, tumble, tumbled color four a few years ago. And it was really, 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 really cool. And I think that's the only time they did it. But, uh, man, it reminded me, I'm going to take a note and order some more of that. Hopefully he can do it. Um, I've never seen marbled color four, but that's certainly possible too. My, my concern with that one would be, is it's like a little too similar to like a, a marbled color eight. So I, I don't know, it might not be worth doing, but we could natural stockyard, Paul, that's a great question. And Paul, I think, I think I saw you picked up a natural stock stockyard wallet. That might even be your Herbie that I showed right here. Congrats. And thank you, Paul. Um, natural stockyard was a leather that. I had some participation in when I was working at Horween. We really liked the natural Essex leather that Horween makes. And that is the leather that's tanned just like the shell cordovan using the same tree barks, the same blends of, of tree barks, but it was tanned in a faster way. So they didn't have to pit tan it for two months. Anyways, loved that veg tan that Horween was doing. We still use a leather that's similar called Dublin. The problem with the Essex was that it started to want to oxidize and turn a little bit pink. And to avoid that, that's how we came up with this stockyard. It was also dried in a different method uh, to give it a little bit of a different grain character. So it's, it's toggle dried, um, but it does develop patina much more slowly as a consequence of us putting some components in there to make it not go so pink. So, Long story short is Stockyard is a veg tan leather that Horween makes that is, uh, it will age nicely, but very slowly. It's also kind of like puffy um, to the feel. It's got like, you'll see when you get it, it's got like a little bit of give to it. Um, so it's not super dense. I guess the Essex isn't either. It's a really unique veg that I think you'll be surprised when you see it. It's really, really nice. The grain is really, really intense also. Looks like we're going to have a visitor come on down. Are you coming down? Oh, Matt, you want to come say hi? <laughs> uh, and yeah, Stockyard Dark and Slowly. Matt's here. YouTube? Hey, YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Um, yeah, good question. Oh, Nate M. Glad you like the baseball. Um, the Shell Cordovan baseballs are all Horween. And that's pretty much all we've really done for Cordovan baseballs or for baseballs in general. We haven't done many non-shell baseballs. It takes us a long time to sew them. So we figure that people wouldn't want to pay about the same price <laughs> for not Cordovan. But, you know, we've done it in the past for special orders. I think people have ordered some bison baseballs, which actually turned out really great, too. That's a good question. Uh, Paul lo uh, says, love what you guys are making these days. Can't wait to the add stockyard. Awesome, man. That was you, huh? Yeah, this, this is your wallet right here, Paul. And uh, thanks again for your support. I appreciate you very much. Uh, everybody else has checked out the video here. Normally, I, I haven't done these live in a long time. So it's pretty sweet to see you guys here today. I appreciate you so much. Everybody that's picked it up, <laughs> up something from the private stock event, just like Paul, uh, can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. People have been calling me and, and like, thanking me for their wallet. So it's like really, really special uh, 
to know that you guys are appreciating what the team here at Ashland are doing and what the team over at Horween are doing. Um, I just can't say enough how much it means to have your support. So thank you guys so much. Hope you have a really good weekend. If you have any questions, leave a comment here or you can hit me up. It's phil at ashlandleather.com. All right, see you guys later. Have a good one.